Hey, hey everybody, it's Regina. Welcome back and hello to anybody who is new here, you guys. I have mail from heaven. I want to release a word that's going to encourage those who it applies to, uh, to whom it may concern. This word is for you. Uh, I was awakened a few nights ago at the, uh, the Lord telling me, uh, speaking the word locust to me. And then he said, that which the enemy has stolen, okay? And it caused me to think about the word of the Lord and uh, the scripture where the Lord talks about the locust, and that's in Joel 2 and 25, and I want to read it. Um, and I will compensate you for the years that the swarming locust has eaten. The creeping locust, the stripping locust, and the gnawing locust, my great army which I sent among you. And I apologize in advance, you guys, because I am still dealing with this little cold. Um, but God said that I'm getting ready to restore you. So earlier I was in prayer and he said, tell my people that restoration is coming. Restoration is coming for the seasons of testing and trying that you've been in, that you felt like you lost. Uh, you feel like you were unable to recover. Uh, there's some things that happened and you felt forsaken. You felt uh, that those things came to you unfairly. God, I have been faithful. God, I have stood on your promises. God, I, I try my best to honor you. Why are you allowing me to go through in this way, this form? I come to let you know that the Lord said you will recover all. Restoration is coming to you. 2023 will be a year, um, a year, I'm going to say this prophetically, a year of the shift. I believe that many of our lives are going to shift in ways that it never has before, right? Uh, we serve a God who is a miracle worker, but in addition to those miracles, in addition to the blessings that God is going to send to our life, the Lord is going to give us strategy, right? Strategy in how to obtain the blessings and strategy in how to obtain the blessings, right? I have spoken about the Lord blessing and blowing a wind on the entrepreneurs. Um, and I believe that God is going to move in that same way in many other areas in our lives, you guys. So thinking that strain the season, strange the seasons that you had to go through. God said, I had to send you through that. I had to send you through that because it was it, it was to strengthen your faith. It was for you to thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, it's, it was for you to get to know me, right? To get to know me beyond. Uh, the shout track for you to get to know me beyond the tradition right but for you to get to know me in an intimate way if I if you never needed me to deliver you you wouldn't know that I was a deliverer if you never needed me to heal you you would never know that I was a healer so God has sometimes he has to send us through the fire okay but listen don't be dismayed uh, because God is getting ready to usher the blessings into your life, you guys. And I bless God for this word. I bless him for his word. We thank him because the promises of God are yes and amen. The promises of God are yes and amen. And I want to leave, leave you with 1 Peter 5 and 10. And it says, and after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace who imparts his blessings and favor who called you his own eternal glory in Christ will himself confirm, strengthen and establish you, making you what you ought to be. Hallelujah. So that fire doesn't feel good, but it is for our good. Thank you, Lord. It's for our good. And our night seasons is where we come to know God. And from my experience, we come to know God, um, uh, in the greatest of ways, right? The fire draws us closer to him. Sometimes God will allow, come on, he allows things to be stripped away from you. He allows uh, the crowd and those that are not connected to your destiny and connected to your future to fall off, right? He allows you to be able to see through the fluff, for you to be able to see through the mess and people and say, okay, I am pulling you away from this crowd. These people, I'm separating you. This is a season where you're going to have to walk alone. It's just me and you. And it's in those moments where we begin to know God in the most intimate of ways. It's in those moments where your relationship with Christ is strengthened. Okay. So after you suffer a while, then God says, I, I, I'm making you who I created you to be. Now I can usher in the blessings into your life because now you can handle it. 
All right. So you guys be encouraged and be blessed. I want you to take this word. Don't forget it. That recompense is coming to you and restoration is coming to you for all that you thought that the enemy had taken from you. God said that I am restoring that which the locust has destroyed. Okay. I love you guys so much. Be blessed in Jesus name. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.